when I say like the title of this video, contractors can literally make or break a project. You know, contractors, they're lazy. <laughs> Not all, some are lazy. They're morally bankrupt. They lie, they steal. Um, so yeah, just vet your contractors. We are here at Camden, the first property we purchased. And just checking to see what the contractor is, what, at what point he's at, because we had to fire a contractor. So um, getting with a second contractor to see what he's done. So a third contractor can come and finish it up basically so um seeing what we have <clears throat> what's going on so it seems as if um the first contractor didn't get this far so this is work that the second contractor did um, put up the drywall because this room was framed framed by the first contractor it was done incorrectly so the second contractor had to come back and fix a lot of stuff that the first contractor really messed up on he had to come and fix windows all of our windows were totally offset um, they had we had to put wood in foam because it was like so many gaps and spaces it was a very sloppy job <laughs> that was done um in this property and then we had um the did a great job on here so the second contractor did this part um this is a closet for this room right here this is the hallway if you guys saw what it looked like before it didn't look anything like this he put the drywall up over here um he still has to sand and uh, mud and tape the hallways there's still a lot of work to be done but um he's gonna do the same here this is the other room this is one big room that we split up and made into two so this other con the second contractor um he's been in here working as you see the door and foam seal he has to go and seal up all the windows because the the job that the first contractor had um done was very very piss poor so piss for that not one not two not three not four but five other contractors was like what the heck is going on right so it's a lot coming back behind someone and cleaning up which I, I'm grateful that the second contractor um, did because he it, it was a lot of work that he had to kind of redo before he can get into what he actually needed to do which kind of push our deadline back again so he had to fix things like this like this came all the way over instead of having like a groove he had to he just had to fix a lot of tedious things and in fixing that it um wow this is a huge space in fixing that it just kind of threw everybody off schedule because of that so 
when I say like the title of this video, contractors can literally make or break a project because you can get contractors that say they're good at drywalling, but unless they've literally hung like I would say 100 to 200,000 pieces of drywood, they're not an expert yet, right? They can think they are um, and they can think probably their team but you know their team is you know knowledgeable and they've trained their team not true okay <laughs> not true at all so this is is slowly coming along if you coming along if you've seen um what it looked like before and we'll i'll insert some pictures here on what this space looked like You can see how far it's come along. So it's still a three, um, a three bedroom, two bath. I had to accommodate for the space and rearrange the layout because of what I did to the um, downstairs. Um, so I think last time in the last video you saw that the walls were open. Now the walls are closed. This is the living room area. It's coming along very good. Now, what I did want to point out is I <laughs> paid the first contractor to get these windows and a third window um, to actually get reframed. That was the first thing. He didn't do that. Second thing was to have them replaced. Paid him to do that. He didn't do that. So when you get people that are there are people that are morally bankrupt, right? And that will not do what they say they're gonna do. So beware, okay? <laughs> um, this is the um, kitchen and dining room area. This is the dining room area. Um, and, as, and this is the kitchen. Um, as you can see before, like the before and after pictures, this was a closed space. This was a kitchen, um, kitchen closed in. And I decided to just have an open concept because I really like that vibe, like that feel. So um, we're gonna have stove, refrigerator, cabinetry here, sink here. And um, yeah, so this is pretty much it. The basement pretty much still looks the same. We're going to, um, oh, we do have some additions over here that I really, really love. Okay, we don't have any lights in this room. But this room, um, I kept the, the size of this room, but what I did add was this nice little feature over here, which is a walk-in closet. So the closet, was very teeny tiny maybe like this big but it was over there and it was just this much space you know so i was like okay we need a walk-in closet we need something bigger something better so i'm super excited about this closet <clears throat> and then um opened up the bathroom made the bathroom bigger um to have more space more functionality you know and just really really give this this space more life more more of a space where you can kind of move around and then the way that you can come from this way you know if the guests you can come from this way for the bathrooms so are just going to be a door here or you can come straight into from the room so there's going to be a door here two doors to the bathroom so it's a different um, different type of layout. So I changed the layout of this floor and I'm really super excited. I cannot wait, cannot wait <laughs> till this project gets done. It's been a long time coming, but you know, you get, um, you get contractors that are not able to um, quote correctly they are they underestimate the work they don't do full thorough walkthroughs um 
they just don't allot or they overpay their teens with their words so they can't really because they don't know you know how much the job is it is, is going for um so yeah and that could be a whole you know contractor disaster and that's kind of what i've been feeling and going through the woes of you know contractors they're lazy <laughs> not all some are lazy they're morally bankrupt they lie they steal um so yeah just vet your contractors it's it's kind of hard because they all you know put on this great face and this great facade like they're the perfect person for your job and then next thing you know they're changing prices they're uh over promising under delivering you know which is what the issue that we have with our first contractor second contractor he's pretty decent he's very thorough um he's very detail oriented that's why he was able to um, call out fix a lot of the issues from the first contractor's job however he moves a little bit slower than what i need him to so i probably have to call in additional help um, another thing that we're gonna do in the next video that you'll see um, in the updates we have in the next couple of weeks we'll be starting the outside just to kind of move the process along a little bit um, so that we can beat the winter so the siding is getting done the back um, landscaping back and front landscaping the all the little things outside everything outside the fence back fence stuff like that the outside is getting done so that we can you know be getting both done at the same time and really trying to get a, a tenant in here um, hopefully before the first of the year <laughs> not putting any more dates on it because you never know with these contractors so this is property number one <laughs> that we are still working on and very close to finishing this about I would say 85% done. So um, hopefully next time we'll be almost at that finish line, 95%, prayerfully 100% next time in the next video.